So first we can derive similar equations to this one for, uh, and starting from this equation, we can derive other equations that are uh, similarly useful for enthalpy, uh, the Helmholtz energy, and the Gibbs free energy. So let's start with enthalpy. So we can start here with the definition of enthalpy. What's du plus PV? Well, that's dH. But we can also write that out as du plus PdV plus VdP. So we're just applying a derivative to a product, and so we use the product rule here. But we can go ahead and substitute this expression for du here. So we get dh is equal to Tds minus Pdv plus Pdv plus Vdp. Uh, these two middle terms are going to cancel out, and so we can derive this expression here. dh equals Tds plus Vdp. Oop, forgot a d there. And so the, the next step here is we can recognize, just like we did for du equals Tds minus Pdv, we have a natural set of independent variables here. H is going to be a function of entropy and pressure. Uh, and so we can do the exact same thing we did with, um, with du. I'm just going to show the results. Um, but we can say that dh ds at constant p is equal to temperature. That's going to come from here. Uh, dh dp at constant s is equal to volume. That's from here. And then our Maxwell relation is going to be dt, all right, I got to think about this, dt dp at constant s is equal to dv ds at constant p. Yeah, just double checking my work here. Um, so we get these relationships from the same process we did for du in the previous video. So go and check that out if you're not sure where these are coming from. Um, and so these are some uh, relationships that we can drive from enthalpy. All right, so this is our next Maxwell relation. This one again is involves entropy, so not as not as useful as some of the other ones that we'll derive. Um, and we can continue this. So I mentioned we can also do this for Helmholtz energy. All right, so we can consider the definition of Helmholtz energy, uh, which is U minus T S. All right, and it can say, all right, so that's D A. And that's going to be equal to du minus tds minus sdt. And we can make the same substitution as before uh, for du. So it's tds plus, sorry, not plus, minus pdv minus tds minus sdt. Um, and we're going to have the positive tds, negative tds terms cancel out. And so we can say da is equal to minus pdv minus SDT. And so again, we can look at the dif differential terms here and say, okay, A is a function of volume and temperature. And now we're going to get relationships involving entropy, right? And so this, these are going to be more useful. So we can say, okay, um, using the same logic as before, DA DV at constant T is equal to negative pressure. That comes from this coefficient here. dA dt at constant v is equal to negative entropy. And then our Maxwell relation from the cross derivatives, these are both negative, so they'll end up being positive overall. We're going to get dP dt at constant v. Oh, now there's a, that one looks much more useful because these are all things we can measure. Pressure, temperature, volume is equal to ds dv at constant t. All right, and so now this is where we're starting to see the power of Maxwell relations. Now we have something we can integrate here to find entropy, and it's related to pressure, temperature, and volume here on the left-hand side. And those are all things we can measure. And so now we're getting to the Maxwell relations that were much more useful. Um, the final one we're going to look at um, 
in this video is we're going to go through this now for the Gibbs energy. Right, so that's the final um, thermodynamic, thermodynamic variable we're going to consider. So again, we'll use the definition of Gibbs energy. Uh, we'll do it in terms of the Helmholtz energy, actually, right? So dA plus PV. Let me make sure I get that right. Yeah, dA plus PV. We can do this in multiple ways. So I'm just double checking my work here. All right, and so we can use, that's gonna be, so this is dG. This, so we can use dA plus PDV plus VDP and use the relationship we just derived for dA, which was minus SDT minus PDV plus PDV plus VDP. Uh, okay, so these terms here are going to cancel out. So dg is equal to minus sdt plus vdp. So we can see again our, I forgot the d again, uh, our, our differential terms here are temperature and pressure, and so those are our natural variables to consider for the Gibbs energy. And we can do the same thing, we can derive relationships here uh, dg dt at constant p is equal to negative entropy. So that one's useful. Uh, we're going to see this one show up again. dg dp at constant t is equal to volume. Uh, okay, so now we can relate Gibbs energy to volume. Also a very useful relationship there. And finally, the Maxwell relation, which is another one that, that ends up being very useful when we're talking about Gibbs energy, is minus ds dp at constant t is equal to dv dt at constant p. All right, and so th those are the Maxwell relations. These are some of the thermodynamic functions that we can derive. In the next video, we'll look at applying these. You know, we have these differential equations. We have these you know, derivatives equal to each other, but what can we actually do with that?